I'm Dr. Gronya Gorman. I'm a consultant neurologist with an interest in mitochondrial disease and I work at the Wellcome Trust Centre for Mitochondrial Research in Newcastle. So exercise in neuromuscular conditions is extremely important. For people who don't have a neuromuscular condition, we know that exercise is extremely beneficial to the health of your heart, your lung and your muscles. When you've got a neuromuscular condition, there's always that fear or concern that perhaps it could be detrimental to exercise. Our experience would suggest that's not the case. We would suggest that exercise, be it either endurance training, which is things like cycling, swimming, running, or even just sit and standing from sitting are extremely beneficial. Or resistance training, which is using weights, can actually help remodel your muscles and strengthen your muscles. So really for patients with different forms of neuromuscular conditions, we suggest that they don't just go out there and exercise, but they seek advice from their specialist because every form of neuromuscular disease is different and responds to exercise differently. So the whole emphasis is on getting the benefit of exercise while keeping you safe. So this is the second uh, of these meetings, which uh, with when the inaugural meeting was in Newcastle last year, where we've had patients have the opportunity to come along to a scientific meeting and see what goes on during that meeting, have an opportunity to liaise with the specialists who've come along to present at that meeting, particularly in relation to the research, but also for patients to feel part of that research program, that they're helping drive outcome measures and that they're driving patient care, with ultimate goal between all of us is to improve the health and lives of patients with different forms of neuromuscular disease.